Hello there. I am the king. Dracarys. What's up, Hello Sword? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are continuing our Clone Wars reaction videos, and we are now on season two, episode two, which is called Cargo of Doom. Uh, we just saw in Ryan's video back on Saturday, uh, Cad Bane stole the uh, Holocron, and now he's trying to get it to Sidious because the Holocron holds a future Anakin Skywalker kill list. It holds all of the Force-sensitive children in the galaxy. Uh, so yeah, that's what we're trying to do. We have Ahsoka, we have Anakin, and we have Obi-Wan trying to stop the bounty hunter, the amazing Cad Bane. All right, so we're going to go ahead and pull this up and get started. So here we go. Let's go. Episode 2, Cargo of Doom. Overconfidence is the most danger, dangerous form of carelessness. Stolen secrets. Villainous mercenary Cad Bane was hired by... Stolen Star secrets? This, this narrator is amazing. Oh, so we're kind of picking up right here then, huh? So he's already yeah, on... Say, wait, ship. what? <laughs> yeah, so we're... So we can, they kind of... He's, he's already on this uh, escape ship. Okay, so it actually shows to me that I need to pay attention to that narrator guy, because... Yeah, I thought he was yeah. just recapping what we'd already watched. Do you know where they've taken them? This guy's about to get blasted. Oh! Oh! Who's that? Master something, they said. It's not Greedo. No. I'm not even sure. They somehow captured him, probably from the temple. We probably, we probably were talking over the uh, explanation of that in the, uh, you know, the little intro. Uh, mm -hmm. General. I didn't say it this time, guys. Uh, Lego ship. You think they have Master Ropel on board as a prisoner? Uh, we were all thinking it. Admiral, yep. Intercept them before they can They'll target their hyperdrive. Get them. Sounds like away. sounds like John Cleese. Dude, I love battle droids. <laughs> yeah, they're funny. Dude, the battle. See, the here. Here's the difference between Jar Jar and the battle droids. The battle droids are actually funny. Jar Jar's just way out of control. Oh, you mean you have to be uh, in a pressurized uh, vehicle in space? But according to Rise of Skywalker, you can just take little horses and go on to the, you know, Star Destroyers. So there's that. Do you know that, that general's name? This guy here. I don't remember. Okay. What are they? Just do a search, John Cleese, Star Wars, and see what pops up. Look, John Cleese, Star Wars. It's him. <laughs> yeah. Yep. It's also oh. the same guy that voices nearly headless Nick in Harry Potter. Yeah. Same. Yeah. 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 See, I have good ears, guys. I heard it for a sec set a sentence, and I knew it was him. We've lost all his vital signs. Oh, they killed him. Yep. So they captured him because the, because they said in the uh, last episode that you need a Jedi to open that. So that's why he captured mm -hmm. him. And, and that, that's why I came up with my, my argument point for the Holocron and the Wayfinder. You know, maybe it was a different thing because it didn't need a Jedi to be opened. It needed to Sith. But you said the Sith Holocron, so, you know. Yeah, it's a Sith Holocron, yeah. It's cool connecting how, you know, they just FaceTimed each other. Bad guys just FaceTime each other. <laughs> they seem to have better connections than the uh, Republic, too. They're fighting in space. Okay, they've got helmets on. Thank you. I thought they were just fighting out in the open space. <gasps> See, they do have helmets on. There you go. Yeah, no, I like it. They've got helmets on. It's not like they're running across the ship with the horses in that other Star Wars movie. Is he force sensitive, Cad Bane? Because he seems to know when to get out of the place real quick. No, I just think I just think that he's he's just got the skills. R two D two. Oh no, he has both pieces now. So are these guys here fives and heavy and all these people that we met in the start? No, I think they're just clones. Okay. 
Oh. Uh, have some men take Master Ropel back. There's to Rex. Rex. We might not be able to find the holocron in time, Master. Master Ropel. But if it's destroyed with the ship, stay sharp. You know, it's the Soka change costume mid fight. Yeah, she's yeah, she got cold. <laughs> it is cold in space. It is. Oh. Oh. Oh, we just changed the gravity. <laughs> So nice. there's no if there's no gravity gun the the laser shots wouldn't do it they wouldn't affect that at all. What do you think? I don't know. Would the laser would the laser like, not just go up when you shoot it? I, I, that's what I'm saying. I, I want I wonder. Interesting. Oh, he's a good shot. It's kind of like uh, what's his face. Paz Vizsla's uh, gun in Mandalorian. Mm -hmm. R2, you could have warned us. They really don't use the Force as often as I think they should. I agree. Like, you use it to save that guy, but you could have used it to grab that thing. It's a trap! <laughs> it's a trap! Always disobeying orders. Yeah. What's up? I like her new getup. It's cool. Is that a Funko Pop? Ahsoka in a red suit? I don't think so. There it is. Do you copy? Oh, cool. Yeah. I might have to get that one. Yeah, this is just common too. So this is when she has two of them. I don't know when she gets her. Uh, I don't know when she gets both of the lightsabers. Do you know he actually looks a little bit like John Cleese as well? That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was, um, who was he? He was in James Bond. Uh, was he, was, was, he, was he Q? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I wonder how many more I can guess, if there's any more big names. He's quite a big name, so mm -hmm. I wonder if there's any more I can get from their accents. This is, I guess this outfit's a little bit different on her, but it's It's similar. But yeah, as you can tell, I, I, I'm like actually looking at it. This is definitely a little bit different. I must say though, this is the second episode in the second season, and she already looks like way older from the first season. Yeah, a little bit. You know, she looks a little bit taller. So many open room scenes with thousands of bullets flying, <laughs> lasers. Yeah. Down. And they just—I love how they just stand there too. Like, what the heck, man? You ever been to laser tag? Oh, dude, I love laser tag. Yeah, rule number one, don't stand still. <laughs> That's right. They don't use space for it a lot, do they? It's very short little clips. Yeah. You use Anakin to open it? <gasps> he wants to know what the names are on the list. <laughs> oh. oh, I thought that was going to be Ahsoka with two lightsabers in. So like okay, so he gets away with the uh, with the crystal and everything, and so what was the point of that? Why didn't you do that before? Surprised Anakin did it. It's just weirder that like, he does it, and then all of a sudden now he's trying to like get the lights. I don't know. It's kind of cool foreshadowing though. He gave the Emperor the list that the Emperor then later sent him to execute infinite hallways. <laughs> Oh. Can't let get away. You see the contrast? Yeah. Patience. Last yeah. episode, she was telling her, you have to get on the ship, and now she's saying, we, you have to get off it. He listened. Ooh! Was that a droid? That was a I droid, so. right? <laughs> it's like just dead weight falling over. Rex, get us out of here. Ahsoka, stay. Stay. Ahsoka, stay. I'd be like, don't worry, Ahsoka. We still have one more part of this arc. Well, it looks like the holocron was destroyed. Bane's dead, but I can still feel it. I guarantee you Bane's not dead. Master, I'm sorry I let that mercenary get the upper hand. It wasn't your fault, Ahsoka. It was mine. Well, we all know Bane's yeah. not dead, so, uh, yeah. So, and that's why we'll have uh, the third part. So what do you think about that one? 
pretty good. Yeah, it was okay. Uh, First one was could better. Have just had, you could have had five minutes extra on the last one and we'd have just got all of that, though. Yeah. I, I, I am, yeah, struggling a little bit with the multiple episode arcs, especially when some of them, some of the stuff doesn't need to be there or, you know, sometimes doesn't feel like it fits. But it's been a continuated story. Yeah. I want to know what the, the Jedi Council are doing at all this time. Are they just sitting down and assessing what's happening? Like, they should be helping. Right. Yeah, I, this episode was definitely more filler. Um, you know, was, like I said, it seems like, so, so, okay, so what? We, this is like our second arc, so we did Ryloff, and I felt like in the Ryloff arc, that second episode, there was a, quite a bit of filler as well until mm-hmm. we got to the Mace Windu stuff. So, yeah, um, it's kind of, that's what it kind of seems like, you know, but, yeah, you know, what can you do? You got when you got to fill 22, 24 episodes. Yeah, no, you know, it still and, gave me, yeah, it, it still gave me like callbacks from the prequels yeah. and stuff. So even though it was a filler episode, I still got cool little things that I wouldn't have got otherwise. Yeah, and I don't, I don't mind the filler type episode like this because it is continuing that storyline. But at least we're continuing this with characters that we want to watch. We're seeing mm-hmm. Soka, we're seeing Anakin. Uh, we didn't see Obi Wan in this one, but. But yeah, so uh, we'll finish up the arc then, and uh, actually tomorrow we'll be finished end up on, on your channel. So yeah, and that one will be Children of the Force. So make sure Children you tune into my channel tomorrow. Yep. All right, guys, appreciate it. I hope you guys are enjoying the breakdowns. Uh, don't forget to smash that like on the way out of here. Uh, comment down below. Let us know what you thought about the episode, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. And like always, don't forget keep those hands. Up.